I'm going to be sharing with you in this video five signs you're in what I call a wounded masculine energy. Because most people in society are operating from a place of overextending their masculine energy. They take action that they believe they have to take. They have perspectives that they believe they have to have that cause them a lot of suffering. Let's talk about in this video signs that you're in this energy, how to step out of this energy so that you can actually step back into your power and be who it is that you prefer to be. So let's talk about that in this video. So if you're new to this channel, what I want you to do is I want you to hit that subscribe button. I want you to hit that notification bell because I do actually post a new video every single day. Also, if you want to work with me one on one personally, hit the link that's in the description box of this video to apply for a free consultation. Now, the first sign that you're in what I call a wounded masculine energy is number one, you're overly controlling circumstances, people, situations, or whatever. There's just too much excessive concentrated force when it comes to controlling a particular situation or person, again, or whatever. Because the truth is that when we get fixated on one particular challenge or one particular situation or one person or one conflict or one situation connected with a person, our consciousness and our focus gets fixated on this one thing. What happens is that we block out all these other possibilities all these other solutions we get way too fixated on one thing and that actually what's happening is that we believe we have to keep extending ourselves and giving all this energy that's obviously hurting us and not helping us to go where we want to go and we believe that it is helping us to go where we want to go but again it's actually hurting us now if there's a belief that there has to be this overly manipulative controlling force on the external world that's absolutely a huge sign that you're in what I call a wounded masculine energy. Because a healed masculine energy, somebody in their true masculine power, their divine masculine power, doesn't believe that they have to control people. In fact, the divine masculine doesn't control people at all. The divine masculine only controls how he sees people, how he sees situations, the way he interprets situations and he takes his control he takes his power if he has to when it comes to physically taking action but what the divine masculine won't do the healed divine masculine what they won't do is they won't overextend themselves and give energy and control things that they know and are conscious of that they have no business controlling whatsoever no business controlling whatsoever. The divine masculine won't go out of his way to overly control people in situations that he has no business controlling. Now the second sign that you're in a, what I call wounded masculine energy is number two, you're just way too burned out and tired all the time. Look, I'm not saying that there's not a time and place to use your masculine force, to use all that energy and push it out and to express it out into the world, to give, to give all that energy. But if it's happening 24 seven where you're burned out and you're not feeling good about what you're giving, that could be a huge sign that you're in what I call a wounded masculine energy. Because the wounded masculine energy gives when he has the energy to give. He doesn't give when it feels forced. He doesn't give when it burns him out. Maybe he'll burn out for a little bit, but he won't stay there for too long. He'll always pull back and manage his energy system or her, doesn't matter, your divine masculine energy. This can apply to male and females. Doesn't matter which one we're talking about here. I'm just talking about masculine energy, not talking about genders here, okay? Now, if you're way too burned out, if you're way too tired, that's absolutely could be a huge sign that you're in a wounded masculine energy and it's time to pull back and step into a little bit more divinity, a little bit more purity to allow that divine, to allow that masculine force 
to come from that divine pure place that you know is going to honor you and the other in a much more powerful way now the third sign that you're in a wounded masculine energy is you believe that slowing down is bad okay if anybody believes that slowing down is bad and controlling your feelings is bad and slowing down your energy to calm the energy down is bad that's absolutely a huge sign you're in what I call a wounded masculine energy. The true masculine, the true masculine, the true divine masculine, the true masculine that's in his heart space, that's connected to his heart, that's healed the masculine energy, understands that in order for him or her to be in the prime divine masculine state, in order to be your fullest masculine, you also have to learn to integrate your feminine. You also have to learn to be fully in the feminine. If you want to be a powerful masculine, you have to learn to be a powerful feminine. And if you're not willing to slow down and receive and be in an energy of you have everything already and everything is here, there's nothing to move towards, it's all done kind of thing, you're never going to be able to go get anything done because you have no clarity, you have no 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 potential you just keep giving 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 you got to slow down and build up that potential build up that energy you got to rest you want to understand that slowing down is not bad in fact if you don't slow down you're not going to be able to be at your full capacity to then be the masculine that you really want to express into the way that you want see sometimes i don't really want to record a video i'll be quite honest with you i don't wake up every single morning motivated but one thing that I would say I'm very powerful at that I think separates me from most people, which I'm not saying this to be arrogant or to be an authority figure or to say that I'm above anybody else, because that's exactly the opposite of what I'm saying. I'm a regular person. In fact, I don't excel at every single thing that I do. But one thing that I'm really good at is just simply showing up and also generating a feeling of motivation by resting and trusting that I'm gonna rest to the point where I know that I have the energy to give and then to share my energy with the world in a way that I have my cup full. And none of this is gonna happen if you believe that slowing down is bad. Slowing down is not bad if you wanna be at your full masculine power. You have to learn to be at your full feminine power and this is where most men Again, being in your masculine can apply both to male and female people, but most men that want to be in their masculine fail to integrate their feminine side. The part of them where they need to listen to their emotions. They need to listen to how they feel. They need to listen to others. They need to listen. Just listen. Stop everything and just listen. Slow down, right? Do whatever you have to do. You don't have to, like, what does is, what is listening mean to you? Maybe you don't have to listen slowing down the energy, whatever that means to you. I don't want to share with you what it means to you because it could be different for you than it is for me. But slowing down that energy, that belief that slowing down is bad, is absolutely a huge sign that you're in what I call a wounded masculine energy. If you believe slowing down is bad, I encourage you to shift that belief and I encourage you to slow down when necessary then to allow you to be at your masculine force in a much more powerful way, in a much more divine and pure way that's aligned with you and the universe itself. Now, the fourth sign that you're in what I call a wounded masculine energy is you feel that you're not allowed to be fully in your masculine. That's also a wounded masculine energy. A wounded masculine energy is not afraid, uh, sorry, a, a healed masculine energy is not afraid to fully step into the masculine when it's time, right? The masculine is not afraid to hold and harness his energy, to not be controlled by his, uh, by his feelings, by his emotions, right? He has that groundedness, but when it's time, he or she, but when it's time to express all that energy, to be fully in the masculine, whether that means seeing a situation in a particular way, whether that means having a perspective, that he, resonate, he or she resonates with, that perhaps is not in alignment with the external world, yet he or she sees that situation in a way that's gonna be aligned with the best result for him and others, right? Because he has that broader perspective, he or she has that broader perspective. Now, one thing that the divine masculine is not afraid to do is to fully unleash his or her power in a very calculated and conscious way. 
this is not about repressing the masculine energy repressing the masculine energy is also coming from a wounded place like oh i'm not allowed to be masculine i'm not allowed to be in my power right there's so much guilt and so much shame we have this belief in society where it's like oh we're not allowed to be in our masculine we're not allowed to take full control of the situation it's all love and light we're not allowed to be in our full creative expressive sexual life force creative power right we're not allowed to right because it's bad that's a huge sign that you are in wounded masculine energy. Being in your divine masculine has absolutely nothing to do with repressing any part of your power, any part of your masculine power. All it means to align the divinity, the divine part with the masculine part is to consciously channel that masculine energy in a conscious way. Not about repressing it or seeing it as bad, it's about bringing consciousness to it and seeing it from the perspective that it's okay to be in the masculine because just as much as you want to be in your masculine, there's somebody else that wants to see you in your masculine and receive all that powerful energy from a non-judgmental perspective. Have you ever thought about that? Have you ever thought about just as much as you want to be in your masculine, somebody wants you to be in your masculine, but you feel like you're not allowed to be in your masculine? That's coming from a wounded place. I used to be really afraid to be in my masculine, to own my masculine perspectives and power but now i can see that being in my masculine is not the problem the problem is to do it in an unconscious way that's misaligned with my heart and if you are stepping into your masculine energy and then you pull back because you believe you're not allowed that's probably a huge sign that you're in what i call the wounded masculine energy so keep in mind that yes we can overuse the mask and energy. We can also underuse it and be in situations where we believe that we're not allowed to use it when in fact in that moment it's the perfect time to use it and it would be the best time for you and the other to use it because it's gonna be beneficial for you and that person or situation or whatever. So it's good to remove all that conditioning of I'm not allowed to be in my mask and because it's simply not the truth of the situation now the fifth sign that you are in what i call a wounded masculine energy is that you believe you have to give you have to give your energy even though you don't want to absolutely a huge sign of a wounded masculine energy again the divine masculine energy the healed masculine is not afraid to unleash his power but he won't he or she won't do so unless he or she believes that he or she genuinely wants to if you want to be in your full masculine power you have to only give when you want to if you believe you have to you're not actually being the divine masculine you're playing a role in somebody else's movie that you believe you have to that you have no business playing that role and they have no business inviting you into that role because you simply both don't resonate with it. You believe you have to play those roles when you don't have to, when you don't want to. If you believe you have to give energy, if you believe you have to play a role that you don't want to, if you believe you have to do something that you don't want to do, absolutely that's a huge sign you're in wounded masculine energy. The masculine energy that's healed only gives the energy that he or she has the capacity to give. So you can see that once you're in a healed mask energy that you give because you have this cup, you have this abundance, you feel so full, you feel so connected, you feel so aligned with, excuse me, who you truly are, you feel so connected, you feel so, so like your cup is so full that you just want to give, you just want to spread that love, you just want to share it with the world. That means you're in a fully powerful state of being connected to the healed divine masculine energy if there's any have to's if there's any obligations could be a huge sign that you're in a wounded masculine energy and with that i conclude this video once again if you want to work with me one-on-one -on -one personally hit the link that's in the description box of this video to apply for a free consultation it's also going to be in the comments of this video as well also, leave a like on this video only if you want to because I do actually believe that every single person on this planet does deserve to know that they are divine creators 
of their reality and that actually they can manifest their reality and do so in the most effortless and easeful way possible, helping themselves and helping others in the process as well. And hitting that like button does help the YouTube algorithm push the videos out to more people and that would be greatly appreciated. As always, enjoy the rest of your day and I'll see you in the next video.